YouTube Zookeeper again. So, um, I'm thinking I, I, these, um, I'll call them blades, um, are part of this Toyota hybrid system. Um, you, if you pull this thing apart, the, the blades come out of this side and they clip in this way. Um, got a little locking tab right here. So what I'm thinking of doing, you can just put those guys right in there like that. If you get them in there the right way, that is. And they, they slide right on to the, to the, um, actually same or similar blade inside. I can't measure that one. So I know that the diameter of the bore that this goes in. Again, this is somewhat of a challenge to to do here. They have to be just exactly perfect or they don't go in. There we go. Okay, so we know that that there's clearance there. So the diameter of that guy is essentially and again, uh, for all of you people that use the real system, I apologize. Um, I don't have real system measuring tools. Looks like one point, no, very close to one inch, just a sh shade under one inch. Um, and the bore, let's see, is uh, oops, I'm just trying to rock this and get a good reading. Looks like the bore is very close to one, one inch and twenty thousandths of an inch. Okay, maybe you can see it better that way. So, basically, what I could do is take this off and and um, fix my wire to this blade um, it's not waterproof and that goes in all the way so it goes in this deep this way um, and then I could put a gland use this plate cut this off use this the wire would come through and I could grind all this flat and put a gland where this is so that I could tighten it down. And a gland is um, like a wire grip. It's a fitting that's used for wiring and basically it's got a taper and as you tighten the nut on, top, on the taper it squishes down around the wire. Um, I think that would work. I don't think I want this thing hanging out here while I'm doing this. I like the wiring better, but I could just slide, I mean, really electrical tape. I'm not dealing with high voltages, you know, um, um, that most electrical tape is rated for 600 volts. So anyway, um, and then how long is this piece? This piece is... 2.32 inches okay and the bore oh ooh, wow that thing goes in there always um, how big how deep is the bore let's see if I can can I measure it this thing is being kind of uncooperative here Come on. You son of a gun. Why are you sticking like that? Okay. There's a chamfer on the diameter here, so I have to kind of eyeball this. 
Oh, whoopsie. Dang it. All right, we'll call it 2.4 inches. So, 2 inches is 50 mil um, in round figures. So, this is uh, another half past that. So, roughly 12, 10, so 60 mil deep, roughly, approximately. 2.4 inches. Okay, so that must go almost all the way back to here. So I could also do a gland, I could do a gland and screw it right in here, I could taper this or I could even just essentially glue it in with um, uh, some sort of a weatherproof uh, adhesive, And um, but I'd rather tap it. I mean I got plenty of distance in there without damaging anything, I, I got plenty of room, I could tap something and even if whatever I put in there um, if I don't have a big enough tap, if I can at least get a few threads in it, um, I can seal that up. And then I can attach, the wire can just feed right in there. Okay, we're working on the Q211 MGR. I can put glands in here, and I'll show you how this works here. So this one, I've just got the collar in, I'll call it and um, I measured the other one you can see the blade down in there and then you can see um, this just slides in and it's plastic on plastic there's another piece of plastic right there so this is double insulated um, for um, you know whatever to it is safety and then here's what the blade looks like um, it's literally just a female terminal big flat thing I don't know I suppose things six inches long and it just slides down in there and connects to the um, male terminal down in there, the male blade. And then here's the whole assembly um, put together. And there's the little tab. To release it is right inside here. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Can you see that little tab in there? at the bottom. Just put a screwdriver in there, pry it down, you can pull this sleeve right off. Um, anyway, my plan is to put a gland in here and as you can see that plastic piece is down where this collar is. So if the gland doesn't go all the way and this thing is to right here, I pull that out, that's to here I mean, I've got this much to uh, take another, to piece, take the wire and put on there. And I'm thinking about taking something like this um, and just essentially welding it or metal riveting it on there and then uh, put it on a gland and then I can just push it in, screw the gland down and then tighten it around the, around this cable. And one of the things I discovered on this cable, on this is the MG2 cable, and these are right next to each other. And look at the difference in size. I mean, that is substantially heavier cable, and I can, you know, basically reuse um, this assembly here and connect uh, my output wire right to here. And um, that's, I think that's what I'll work on. Anyway, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and consider supporting those of us who are doing all this legwork on Patreon. Zookeeper out. Oh.